Doug Wessling from Sound Pure, and we're here day one of the AES show. We're getting ready to go inside. Why don't you come take a look with us, and we'll see what's new in the pro audio division. It's Todd with Sound Pure here at the AES 2011 show. I'm here with Trent from Moog, and Hello. I'm extremely excited about this. It's Moog's first foray into professional audio in a long, long time yeah. with their 500 series ladder filter. Basically what we've got is a 500 series dynamic ladder filter. It's based on Bob Moog's original ladder filter designs, but we've made some significant upgrades for the pro audio market. It's great for classic Moog filtering, but you can also do some fun stuff with it, like you can get some gating effects out of it. Uh, you can get some uh, compression-like artifacts out of it, but most importantly, obviously, it sounds like a Moog filter. <laughs> so we've got a snare that's got some kick bleed. It's kind of doesn't sound all that great. And what we can do is go into high pass mode in a negative amount and bypass the kick, but keep the snare involved. Some of the other things we can do is use it similar to a gate by switching it down to the low pass and going to a positive amount. got that and then also you can do some pretty fun mokey stuff with it so a couple other things that it's really cool for it's really good for tightening up bottom end on bass or adding a lot of body to a bass that's just way too thin um, it's great for DS you can DS a vocal with it again you can add body to a vocal uh, it's awesome for soft sense is really great way to use the thing um, so you can do some stuff like that like add some really big Moog sound to your soft sense, and then uh, it's it's also uh, it's also really awesome at taking that that edge off of poorly tracked electric guitars. You can really pull that nasty, overly gained bite out of those as well. So it does everything that you love about a classic Moog filter, but then it does that much more. Doug here at the AES show for Sound Pure, and today we're going to talk about the uh, Pro Tools 10 release. The main points that we're dealing with are 32-bit floating. This is one of the big things that uh, we've been waiting for with Pro Tools. This is giving us more headroom with our mixes, more headroom with the plugins. Essentially, your mixes are going to sound better as we move into the 32-bit floating. One of the next points with Pro Tools 10 is that we are more efficient use of RAM, and Pro Tools is going to access more of it. One of the nice things that we're going to see is that you can preload your tracks. So with your transport, when you hit play, it immediately plays. You're no longer waiting on Pro Tools to catch up. With Pro Tools 10 and this release, the biggest news is getting new PCI cards. Um, TDM systems have been out for about 10 years now. And the new HDX series, which is coming out, is going to be far superior. There's a lot of notes on what's going on. But the biggest aspect of this is you're getting four times the processing power per card. So now, the new HDX, one HD card is like an old HD4 system. Really exciting. There's going to be more to come. Be sure to tune back in.